find America's top theatrical talents on the cross streets of Broadway and Maine. Dollar Quartet is a dramatization of a real life event that happened at Sun Records. Carl Perkins was recording his song Matchbox. Jerry Lee Lewis was a chef, was a session player. Elvis stopped by, and then Sam Phillips thought, "Oh, this is great," and called up Johnny, and he stopped by, and then they all just started jamming. This is just great balls of fire. Looking into the future, even like 15 minutes, is not something that I can do. So it's, it's been really crazy to kind of uh, step into the shoes of somebody who has that crazy ability. There ain't no kind of nothing. Now let me hear some of them blues you was telling me about. It's really fun. We have these flashback scenes where we kind of see where Sam met these different musicians. I just love imagining this time and how exciting it was. Uh, a year from now, if y'all are real nice to me, I might just let you work my toys as my opening act. Oh. Jerry Lee Lewis has already been at Sun Records for only two months. He was definitely the kid trying to prove himself, trying to make it. You gotta have the piano down. And lucky for me, I've been playing since the first grade. Sitting on the piano, playing it with his feet, stomping on it, standing on it. I know the story where he lit it on fire. Unfortunately, we have not allowed to do that. In this business, you cross someone, they will be waiting to do you in. The music might have been the easiest. The hard part is him as a person. How is he talking to his friends about nonsense, you know, just uh, making small talk. What is, what is that Johnny like? The hardest thing about the music was the way Johnny holds a pick is not the way that I hold a pick. And it really threw me for like a week trying to figure out how to do that. Mr. Phillips, I gotta tell you, I ain't had me a time like this. Well, not since I left here. Well, you're back home, son. At this point in his career, Elvis has just left Sun Records. He has actually been sold to his big record company, RCA Records, and he's really yearning to come back to his roots. That's all right Making sure that you really get the essence of Elvis is all about being larger than life and the ease to which Elvis moved and the ease to which everything happened for him. And you, stay the hell out of my way on my record. Joe is really good at kind of spotting that tension between all these people, but they were also all really great friends. It's kind of finding that fine balance of tension, friendship, and having fun playing music together. But shortly thereafter, by God, there's Elvis Presley on the Ed Sullivan Show. Singing Blue Suede Shoes. My song. He was kind of on his way with Blue Suede Shoes, and so Elvis then performed it on the Ed Sullivan Show. So he kind of stole that moment from Carl Perkins, which could have been his big breakout moment, and he might have been a bigger name today. You can do thought up until rehearsal for this show that Blue Suede Shoes was an Elvis Presley song. I had no idea it was written by Carl Perkins. I was like, oh man, like I'm part of the problem. I'm so sorry, Carl, man. You can do it,